we're here fishing in uh, Kona, Hawaii, fishing on the Mealy with Captain Brian Tooney, first mate Kevin Hibbard. Uh, these guys are all about catching big fish and obviously catching big fish you need big gear and gear that's going to handle it. And they, they rig their lures up a little bit different to most. We're going to let Kevin show you guys how he does it. So how we make our hook rig, we'll go ahead and, and show you exactly how we do that. So how we start off here is we got our our cable here, our crimps, uh, we've got our tools, our crimper, we've got our cable cutters. Um, so we go pretty much start off by putting our sleeve on and then our hook. So we're just going to give that a quick little mash. It's just an extra one, yeah. Okay, so now the next part, so we're gonna take our, our heat shrink, which you can get at any hardware store. Yep. Um, we like to clear stuff so over the black stuff, that way we can see what's going on inside yeah, of our yeah. hook rig, find out you know, things that are gonna rust or whatnot. <clears throat> like to get right over the crimp, there it seals the water out. I'll put it like about so, and I'll bring it down just a little bit from the eye of the hook. To be used the uh, heat gun hook upside down like so, heat on there, and so then after that, I'll just pull her straight, kind of tap her on there, just make sure it's all sealed. Now we've got that all secured, and we want to go ahead and basically measure the length of the cable that we're going to have in there. Yep. So, and then again, like I was telling you, we like to have our hook uh, just IGFA illegal. The eye of the hook is inside the skirt, so we're going to have about so much hanging out. Uh, see where my thumb is yep. on the cable, kind of mark it there, and that's where I'm going to make my first cut. Okay, you got your chafe tubing, which we're going to put over our, our cable here, which is going to actually make it more stiff. This is going to go on my loop, a little over an inch critical to have have the chafe tubing on this end so you're not having your 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 mono straight to the cable which is definitely gonna definitely gonna break so this just gives it a little bit extra protection so we're gonna put our crimp over we're gonna put our our loop over here we want everything to line up i like to have my loop lined up with the top of this so it all runs straight too so by looking at so my crimp's gonna go sideways to here I'm gonna go ahead and bring her all the way into here. Like so. Slide her up. And I'm gonna allow a little bit of space here for my my crimp and mono that's gonna be up here, and we're looking pretty good. Good day, yeah. Pretty good. I'm going to measure my chafe tubing. And as you see, I didn't crimp that because we're gonna take that right back off, so we put that right onto our cable, just like so, and that's going to go all the way back down here to the bottom, and that's going to, like I said, once we put this heat shrink back over the top of there, that's going to keep this whole thing from wiggling down here at the base. Again, this is, a lot of this too is to keep the water from out of, staying out of it and stuff. We're going to bring it right over to the top of that. The gun over there again. squeeze it there just to make sure you get all the air pockets out and this heat shrink has got a bit of a, a glue inside yeah, of it. So that seals it up even better. Exactly, kind of squirts it out, gets it out of there a little bit more. Kind of straighten my cable as much as I can. But I'm going to kind of heat this up also. This is going to kind of make it just a little bit more limber. Going straight. I'll hand that over to you. Okay, so we're, we're getting close. Now, I'm going to take our crimp again, put it over our cable, and this is where we're going to put our loop on. But this is, uh, like I said, this is where it gets a little bit more difficult. And this is when the strands can fall down. This is, yeah, this is when it can get bad. Okay, and we are looking good there. There we go. And see, just a minimal bit of pressure. 
locks my my crimp yep, in there awesome. okay and then i could go ahead and finish off that that whole crimp right there okay all right so you see how we've got everything all lined up from the the eye yeah, uh, yeah, you're you know, laying straight. He does it right angles to that. Exactly. So yeah. that's that's what we're really really looking forward to right there. Is we're gonna do the same thing up here, and we're gonna take this heat shrink all the way to the top of this crimp, and we're gonna bring it down just a little bit over our chafe tubing. Okay. And this part, like I said, you can slide the the tubing right over the top of that. Yep. And if you can hand me the gun. And that's the hooker. So we we were able to accomplish that pretty quick, pretty easily. And again, you can see the, especially if you hold them this way, and you got a lot more flop. Yeah, yeah. And in you this can one. see that just that's yeah. the pressure point right there, isn't it? That's where she breaks. Yeah. yeah. That's where you'll start seeing the strands let go. It's right, right in there. Yeah. Uh, we use a uh, aluminum crimp uh, for the monofilament, and we'll put the chafe tubing over the top. So we take uh, our aluminum crimp, put it right on there. We take our chafe tubing, put it on there also. Put her in just like so. Bring her up here. And just take uh, the lighter and put a little, you know, nail end on the yeah. mono. And again, we bring that down. And we always take our chafe gear and push up to that tag in. And now as I pull this leader and turn with our hook rig here, we've got the whole thing flowing together. Now what we do is we put a crimp on this. When we're doing the, the, um, the aluminums, we want to keep a little bit of a flare on the end yep. of it. And that way you're not crushing the end of it. It flares out a little bit and it's able to take a lot of the pressure off of the, the leader itself. So. Okay. Pretty much that part is all done. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take electrical tape. And you can use black, orange, blue, yellow, whatever you want. The reason we're using yellow here is it's it's highly visible to us in the water. And we got one little secret towards the end of it that kind of helps things out a little bit. And when I put this tape on, I don't like to cover the entire crimp because that way I can look back at my stuff and go, okay, I know this is crimp. There's one thing that we always do is we check, recheck, and check again. Uh, by so by having that uncovered halfway, I know for sure that all my homework's been done and all that. And same thing on this crimp end too. I'll just leave it half exposed. And then I'll work myself back up. Keeping you're it. You're putting a lot of pressure on there to keeping it fairly tight. That into the, uh, exactly, yeah. I don't want it too bulky to where water is gonna be able to fold through it. Um, and then lift the adhesion off of it. So once once I get it around to back to the crimp. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off, and a lot of people would be done right there. Um, we would take a little bit of super glue, put a couple little dabs on both ends there. There we go. Fold her over. Oh, nice. Wipe it, wipe it. And that way it's gonna stay for sure. Right. That's a good trick, eh? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's been working. All the little things add up to be the big things in the end. Without a doubt. It's taken many, many, many years to learn all that stuff, and we're still learning. So um, so we take our tag end of our, our leader. We insert it right through the center hole of the lure. It's right out the top here. Bring her all the way down. And then what we've got so I'll just kind of place it there, just like so. And then I'll go ahead and take a wrap on that, pull her tight. And then we're gonna go ahead and look at the lure. We see that we're totally legal. We 
we've got our, I have our hook up inside of the skirt. But you see right here, we're, we're not lined up. We're slightly off. So I want everything to be lined up with that keel weight. It's just like um, a, a tail of a kite. Yeah, you know, it's gonna help steer it and all that stuff. So pretty much right there, we're, we're done. It's ready to swim, it's ready to go out, ready to hunt. And uh, hopefully we put it out there and a couple minutes later we can go, ah, I told you so. <laughs> awesome, well thank you very much, Kevin, for sharing some of your uh, secrets that you've learned over the many years of doing your trade. So. Automatic, automatic. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much. Cool. <laughs> For the rods, reels, lures and terminal tackle and some great advice, call in and meet your team at your local hunting and fishing New Zealand store. And for more inspiring online fishing content, visit journeyofafisherman.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel.